right, guys, gotta go grab a quick snack real quick. It is 4.31, heading to my last stop, which is right over here. Waffle House over there. We don't want Waffle House, bro. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how you doing? Yeah, guys, so I'm going to my last stop now. Like I said, it's right down the street. We had a pretty good day overall, man. Not too bad. We got 170 cases going in this last stop, so we're gonna knock it out. So my last stop is right down here with this light at. guys so we're at the last stop this is the freezer that i'm in right now you see i got two pallets going in one over here and basically a half a pallet right here everything left on the truck is going to this stop so um they're getting 172 cases i think yeah so they're getting 172 cases how many freezer they're getting? 88 freezer pieces right there. So yeah, um, let me show you what else we got left on the truck. This is the dry. We got more dry right here. And then we have the cooler, all right? So this is everything that's left, man. As you can see, So, we're going to go ahead and get to work, man. I'll tap back in with you guys when I get done with this stop, man. Keep it locked. All right, guys. We done for the day, man. Get ready to put this key up. And get ready to get up out of here, man. Best part of the day. What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony TV. Look, do me a favor, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me, man. Like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment, man. Hey, we getting ready to get up out of here, guys. Done for the day. Um, it's Friday. Shout out to all you guys out there. If you're in the food service game, shout out to y'all, man. All my food service drivers. I don't care what company you work for, man. Y'all out there working hard, getting to it. And uh, just make sure y'all stay safe out there, man. Like I said, TGIF. And um, I'm getting ready to get out of here, man. Let me sign out of here. We had a pretty good day overall, man. Um, 
one, two, four stops. Four stops today. I started my route last night. I got to my first stop about 11.20 p.m. And like I said, it's 6.05 right now. I got a two hour drive back to the yard. Um, I traveled 550 miles on my two day route. So for the two days combined, it's usually around 550 miles. Um, and so, yeah, man, we got it done. But I wanted to talk to you guys real quick, man. All you new CDL drivers out there, man, if you watch this video, look, man, I got a little PSA, a little public service announcement. And drop it in the comments if you agree or disagree. One thing I want you new drivers to know, man, if you fresh out of CDL school, by the way, shout out to my guy, I think his name Randy. Shout out to Randy. Um, he dropped a comment earlier this morning on one of my videos, man, and he, he just was telling me that he applied for Cisco and they uh, denied him. And um, I guess he applied for Gordon Food Service as well, and GFS hired him, right? So now he's got a job with Gordon Food Service. He said he start Monday. He seems like he's super excited about it, man. Um, he said it, it, it probably was a blessing in disguise for him. So, man, congratulations again. Hopefully it works out for you, man. You know, I've said this time and time again, Gordon Food Service, in my opinion, is a really good company. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I work for them. They're a really good company, man. So hopefully it works out for you. Um, but yeah, man, to the rest of you guys out there, that is fresh out of CDL school. That's a perfect example that, you know, sometimes the, the company that um, is your first choice, you may not necessarily um, get hired on with that company, right? So, you know, you have to explore other options and maybe try out some of the other companies out there. You know, there's a lot of good companies out there. Gordon Food Service isn't the only good company, uh, in my opinion. There are some other good companies out there as well. So. You know, if you fresh out of CDL school and you can't get into your number one choice, try some other companies, man. You know, it's, it's all about getting yourself in the door. You got to remember, you don't have any experience. And um, that's a good segue into the title of this video and the reason I'm making this video, right? For guys just coming out of school or, you know, regardless of, whether or not you went to school or you went another route to get your CDLs. Uh, if you're a new driver with zero experience, food service is one of the best paying jobs that you can get in trucking. And really you can throw some other professions in there as well. For a person with no experience to have the opportunity to make 60, 70, 80, 90,000, even the potential to make $100,000 a year, with zero experience, I want you to drop it in the comments, man. Drop some trucking jobs where you can make that kind of money at with zero experience, all right? Especially 80, 90, potentially 100K your first year with zero experience now, zero experience. We're not talking about experienced drivers. We're talking about zero experience. Practice? We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about practice we're talking about practice drop it in the comments the jobs the trucking jobs in particular where you can make that kind of money at say what you want about food service you can say how hard the job is we all know it's a physically demanding job but again drop in the comments where you can make this kind of money at for some people out there man food service has changed people's lives out there man in a good way from a financial standpoint. You know, a lot of people um, that's in food service right now, their previous jobs, they probably didn't make nearly as much money as they're making right now, right? And, and because of that, they've been able to do things like buy houses, buy cars and motorcycles and whatever else, um, you know, properties and whatever else you guys uh, like to buy out there, man. I'm pretty sure, you know, Getting into the food service game has definitely changed the way some people um, are living right now, right? I'm pretty sure that this job has provided a lot of opportunities that they probably haven't seen with previous jobs. And so, you know, with all the noise out there and a lot of the negativity that this type of job gets, you know, 
you guys, if, if you watch different food service channels, you see it in the comments, you know what I mean? It's a lot of negativity um, surrounding around this type of job. But the fact of the matter is that this job can be very rewarding. It can be very lucrative to a lot of people out there, man. Like I said, you got, you got medical professions that food service drivers make more than some of these people um, that's going to college getting degrees, right? Masters and bachelor's degrees to get into some of these professions. You know, food service, you don't need a college degree to get in food service, right? It's a low barrier to entry, and I've said this in previous videos. And to be able to make some of the money that you can make in this industry, I just think it's great. You know what I mean? Especially, like I said, for somebody that's just coming out of school. Um, you know, you're not gonna find too many jobs where you can make this kind of money at trucking jobs with zero experience. Like, I wanna emphasize zero experience, right? Let me know in the comments, where can you make this kind of money at? With zero experience. And I'm not trying to be funny. This is a serious question. I'm not trying to be sarcastic when I ask that question because I really wanna know. And you'll actually be helping out some other people too if there are other jobs where you can make that kind of money at. My bad guys, I'm sweating trying to talk to y'all real quick. Um, before I get ready to get up out of here, I gotta crank that AC up, man, it, it's hot. But I wanna, you know, make this video real quick before I pull off. Uh, because, you know, I see it in the comments all the time and, you know, I see a lot of rich people in the comments some of you guys, y'all y'all too rich for me in the comments, man. I, I was watching um, another channel uh, last night and I seen somebody in the comments. The person who posted the video, he was showing somebody's paycheck and they made, I think it was like over $4,000 or something like that uh, for two weeks, which if you break it down, that's like, you know, $2,000 a week or whatever. I seen somebody in the comments was like, man, $2,000 a week really ain't, ain't that much money. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself like, man, I get it. it. May not be a lot of money to a lot of people out there, but $2,000 a week, especially for somebody that's a, a new driver. I think this, I mean, even if you're not a new driver, um, depending on, you know, what you've been making all your life, making $2,000 a week isn't too shabby in my opinion. But you know, like I said, it's relative, right? It's relative to, to whoever you're talking to. $2,000 a week may not be, you know, good money to some people, but for somebody with zero experience that have never done this type of work before, making 15, 16, 17, 1800, 1900 a week or more, um, to me, that's not too shabby, man. And that's definitely doable in food service. It's not a problem. You got a lot of food service drivers that make $70,000 a year. A lot of food service drivers make $80,000 a year. A lot of guys making 90,000. And then you got your drivers that are making six figures. So like I said, man, you gonna work in food service, but if you wanna make some good money with zero experience, Food service may not be a bad idea for you, man. And shout out to all you guys that have jumped into food service. Um, shout out to all you guys that are out there working hard to get your CDL license. Um, you know, the great thing about CDL license is that, you know, you can find another job. If your goal is just to get in food service for a year, you can do that and go find you something else. I've said that before in previous videos. You don't have to stay in food service. You know, that's perfectly fine. But if you wanna make some good money without any college degrees, food service is definitely an option for you. Food service is definitely where you can do it at. So look, man, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. I'm sweating like crazy. I'm about to crank this AC up, man. I hope you guys have a good day today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button for me. Like the video and drop a comment if you got a comment, guys. Until next time, i catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all take care. Peace.